So if you wouldn't mind just kind of taking us through your highlights today, you had five birdies and an eagle. <laughs> Um, yeah, I started off strong. I made a birdie on my second hole, number 11, the par three. Um, so that was nice, just getting getting a nice birdie in the first few holes and bogey the next couple. So that wasn't um, as much fun. But then I actually um, was able to make an eagle on, on the next par five or 14. And um, it was really nice. Uh, confidence booster as well. I was... Um, it got loud, it, I was getting excited, and um, then I, I made a few pars, a couple more bogeys, and um, I just, it was really nice to finish with birdies on seven and nine. Um, I knew um, I had to post a, a under par score to be in contention for Saturday, and um, yeah, it was just really exciting to see that I made so many birdies, so I'm just um, focusing, I guess, on, on not making so many mistakes. Um, because I know I'm going to be able to make um, putts on Saturday. So I'm excited that I, I can still be aggressive and um, get some putts to roll in. And yeah, it was, it was ups and downs, but a, a really nice round. I enjoyed it a lot. Thank you. We'll open it up to media. Sorry about that. <laughs> um, talk a little bit about the 14th hole, because yesterday you came within an inch of <laughs> chipping in and then you chip in today um, and it was after one of your wor you know one of your worst uh, second shots of the day too so how were you able to kind of collect yourself and uh, did you feel like you had some unfinished business on that hole um, yes that that second shot was definitely not intended to end up where it did but again I I was in good position from there I took a look um, a good look at the green and was able to kind of see what I wanted the ball to do, how it was going to break, how fast or how slow it was going to be. And I just picked a spot, and it was looking pretty good. I honestly didn't think it was going to go in. Uh, from my angle, it didn't look like it was going to go in, but um, it ended up going in, and it, it was pretty nice because um, I felt like I should have gone an eagle yesterday on that one. So it was a little nice payback from the last round. How long was that shot? Uh, well, the second shot, I was like 2.30 into the hole, and then my chip was probably like 40 yards or so. Yeah. Are you, can you just tell us about the two birdies uh, coming in, 7th and ninth? Mm -hmm. And were you aware of where you are? Did you, did you know, did you notice your position in the tournament? Uh, well, number 7, it's a drivable par 4. I... Um, hit a hybrid to the green, so it's a pretty big advantage for me. That hole is, um, I played it great in the practice round, played it good yesterday, and I actually pushed my shot today and was in a little bit of, of a top, tough um, second shot, but I was able to chip it. I chipped it to like two feet. Um, so it was, a, it was a really nice shot. I was able to make that putt, and even though I wasn't necessarily aware of where I stood, I, I knew that I had to post, post a under par round if I wanted to be in a, good play, in a good place for Saturday. And then I actually hit a pretty good shot at number eight, missed about a, like a 15 footer, I missed it uh, for birdie. And then on, on number 18 or nine, I guess, was um, I knew I, I could be aggressive there. I knew I could get there on two and have a pretty good look at eagle and, and, and birdie. And, um, hit it over the green, hit a pretty decent chip, I thought, and was able to make the putt. So it was really exciting to, um, yeah, just make that last putt was, was really nice. I um, even yelled and stuff and got really excited. And yeah, it was, uh, I guess, nice to, to see um, that I can, I can play under pressure and I can uh, do what I have to do when I have to. And can I also ask you, the final round, I know uh, the significance of playing at Augusta National is not lost on anyone, but you personally are going to play also in front of your uh, you know, inspiration, Lorena, and you are the Annika Award winner as well. So you are going to play in front of those two legends. Uh, <laughs> how is that going to be like? Uh, I mean, I think it's amazing that not only I get to play at Augusta National, but I get to play it um, in front of 
the amount of people that there's going to be out there that I get to play in front of um, someone I admire as much as Lorena, Annika, um, Nancy, even Sari Park. I mean, they're all one, I mean, amazing. You can't choose one uh, to be the most amazing one. So it's going to be uh, really exciting to, to be out there and um, hopefully we can put up a show for them and for everyone that's out there. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I know I'll be having a lot of fun, so um, hopefully golf follows and I post a good run out there as well. If I'm not mistaken, weren't you on the Today Show when they unveiled the trophy? <laughs> yes. And what, what, when you saw the trophy, what did you think and what would it mean to you to win it? Well, I think it's beautiful and I, I know how much it means and how much work there's been behind the making of that trophy and every little piece has has been thought of and um, having the uh, like vase being of magnolia tree and then having all the flowers around the uh, base of the of the trophy and um, I don't know it's just everything so special about that trophy and about this tournament they uh, have certainly done an amazing job of making sure there's everything every single little detail is taken care of and I mean, of course, winning it would be a dream. I think um, being able to, to compete out here and to play against the best in the world and to come on top would be um, an amazing thing for me, not, um, I guess, I'll, I'll be part of history and um, even more so than, than we are already. And yeah, it, it will be really exciting. And I just hope that I can get a good chance at it on, on Saturday. You said uh, you were shaking yesterday on the first <laughs> yes. team, but that that was a good thing. Mm -hmm. um, when did you learn to embrace pressure, and, and how did you do that? Um, I guess ever since I was a little girl, I enjoyed playing um, around people and having people watch me. And um, my absolute favorite thing during practice rounds would be when people would let you hit through, because I was like, OK, I'm going to hit it close. Uh, so. Yeah, I guess I've always enjoyed that feeling. And then I also think that with our family's background in soccer and like I love the adrenaline of like a final that's close. And um, of course, it's a lot nicer when you get to win and <laughs> not so fun when you not so fun when you lose. But yeah, I've always had, uh, I guess, a lot of respect, but love at the same time for that uh, feeling. and. Um, I felt the same way today, and I was really happy that I was feeling that same way. And I piped it down the middle, and I was like, OK, y you got it. So I, um, I think it's, I, I don't really see it as, as a negative. I, I try to see it um, as a positive thing, because I care of, I care of what, what I'm doing. I care if um, the way I perform. And I, yeah, I think it's, that's how it's shown. And so you're happy to be in the final group tomorrow? Yeah, if it is that way, I, I'll be excited. I think, um, especially with Jennifer, it's going to be, uh, like I said before, a birdie feast out there. And it's going to be a lot of fun. She's great to play with, and um, we're good friends. So if, if it's with her in the final group, it's going to be a really fun one to watch. It's supposed to rain uh, quite a bit tomorrow. And obviously, Augusta historically favors high ball hitters. and. So knowing that the course could potentially play a lot longer than expected on Saturday, do you feel like that could play into the hands of you and you know a select few other girls who who hit the ball, you know the way the way you do? Yes, definitely. I think um, even out here, my length was a huge advantage. It was it allowed me to make the amount of birdies and that I made. It also got me in some trouble, but I think uh, at Augusta is going to be really beneficial just to hit those high shots that, that land soft um, to those greens. I know there can be really tricky pins out there. And um, yeah, I think my length is going to be um, playing in my favor. I just got to be able to, to manage, know when to rip it and know when to hold back a little bit and be smart. Um, so I think that's that's going to be the challenge for me out there, just to know when to do and when not to do so. How many putts are you going to hit on those greens tomorrow, knowing you know the way you putted the first two days here? I mean, I, I just want to hit a lot of long putts and try to get um, a feel of the speed. I know there's a lot of uh, really big breaks out there, and I just want to get comfortable with having to aim three, four yards right of the hole for it to go and come back. and. Um, I just want to be really comfortable with, with those so that I can um, 
yeah, just be kind of aggressive but smart at the same time with when I'm on the green and just try to not have those like four or five footers coming back for par that uh, wear you out. So I think um, I'll be focusing a lot on my speed. And then, of course, inside five, six feet, it's going to be um, crucial because I know I, I'm going to have a few of those on Saturday. Can I just ask you uh, two or three questions about uh, playing at Augusta National? Mm -hmm. uh, what is your most unforgettable Masters memory of all time, of all the Masters that you have seen? Um, definitely when Angel Cabrera won, uh, with my family being from Argentina, and I actually know him, and um, didn't know him then, but I, I know twice. him now, and um, and yeah, I think it was it was nice to, to see him win, and um, it was hard to see him lose against Adam Scott uh, a few years later. And uh, on Friday when you were out there, is there any shot that you remember from the Masters that you want to try out during the practice round? Well, I mean, I can tell you a million of those that I want to try out there. Uh, and Which would be the number one? Um, I don't know. I guess, I mean, hitting it on uh, on two on either 13 or, or 15, just going for those on those par fives, I I think they're, they're fun. And yeah, I'm most excited about those two, I guess. And uh, is there any special preparation that you did knowing for these three months uh, that you will be playing at Augusta National? Is there anything special that you practiced just keeping Augusta National in mind? I mean, everything I do, uh, and I did this past three months, I think that was kind of in a way working my way up to this week. But at the same time, I had um, a uh, few other tournaments that I had to take care of and I was trying to yeah of course focus and prepare for for this week but at the same time I had to stay present and be where I was and get ready for that tournament that I had um, in the next week or the weeks after that and luckily enough the the courses that we played and um, they are home course in, in Fayetteville Blessings it's an amazing golf course and I think it uh, in a way it's similar to what I see out here uh, really uh, slopey fast greens and uh, it's long and it's challenging. So I think that um, for me, it was really fortunate that I get to practice there every day. And um, I guess wedges have been um, one of the things that I've been working on for, for the most part these last few months. That's the one thing that I've been focusing on. And um, it's good to see that all that I've done is paying off. Thanks so much, Maria. Good luck Thank on Saturday. Thank you.